And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. So after waking up this morning with temperatures that were in the 20s and the 30s, we managed to warm up 30 degrees to 60 for the high. And there were even some 70s up in Bismarck, North Dakota. There will be the chance of some 70s that return here by Tuesday. But for the next two days, we'll have to wait and, and just enjoy those lower 60s, which is what we're expecting. Above average temperatures to the west, which will eventually work their way in here. Overall, not a bad day. We had values in the upper 50s and lower 60s, and we're going to have more of the same over the coming days. Beautiful start to the day. It was cold, but we did manage to warm up with that sunshine. Light winds did start to pick up the out of the west. We did have some gusts approaching uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour, and now some high level cirrus clouds moving in on its way. So here's the weather picture. Area of low pressure up in Hudson Bay, and we've got this cold front that is draping down to the south. Along that cold front, we've got some cloudiness, but no rain is associated with it. It's a dry cold front and really not much moisture and not significant amount of cold air behind it. We'll still have highs tomorrow that are in the uh, upper 50s and the lower 60s. So you see this leading edge of mid and high level cloud cover advancing down to the southeast and no rainfall associated with it. The radar installation in Marquette picking up some vertigo, so that's some moisture that's coming down from the clouds but evaporating before hitting the surface. Heading into the overnight, Skycast is showing that mixture of some mid and high level clouds moving through, but by tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with some sunny skies before more clouds move in here as we get into the afternoon. We'll have more cloud weather for tomorrow compared to what we saw for today. So that might damper the temperatures slightly, but I'm still expecting highs to be right around 60. Lakeside folks, though, probably mid and upper 50s as winds will be teetering a little bit out of the northeast. So here's our day planner for tomorrow, waking up with mostly sunny skies to overnight lows in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. Then we get up to near 60 for the high. Our normal high for this time of year is 62 degrees. Now winds will be starting to subside a little bit overnight tonight, about 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the north. Then eventually, as you see by the afternoon tomorrow, coming in out of the south or northeast. But watch what happens as we get into Tuesday. We'll see the winds start to shift out of the south, and that's going to help get us into some warmer weather. And our high on Tuesday will be getting into the lower 70s much warmer than uh, what we'll be seeing for tomorrow and Monday's highs, but it's going to be short lived though. By Thursday, our highs will be in the lower 50s if we can manage similar to what we saw for temperatures yesterday. So it's going to be a one and done type of thing. 38 for the overnight low, not as chilly. Light winds out of the north at about five miles per hour. And for tomorrow, we'll be climbing up into the lower 60s with uh, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. Winds coming in out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 70 forecast, more 60s on the way for Monday with mostly sunny skies. Partly cloudy skies on Tuesday, getting up to 72 degrees. Then comes a cold front on Wednesday. That'll spark off a few rain showers and then behind it, another slight chance of a few sprinkles on Thursday. Behind it, back down into the 50s as we head into next weekend. After the break.